Hi there, thanks for staying tuned in. We'd like to welcome Nicole Wilkins, two-time Miss Figure Olympia and three-time Miss Figure International. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, first of all, thank you so much also. Um, you're so inspiring to me, um, but so to, to so many also. So many. So many. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask you, what do you do to stay in tune with your mind, body, and spirit, um, you know, going into your daily activities? Uh, every morning I start out and I, I actually read motivational quotes and sayings. And if you follow my Facebook page, I post a lot of things that I hear or I, I read. And it really helps keep me um you know, I think the spiritual and mind aspect of this competition is almost more important than the physical. The physical is easy, but keeping your head straight and staying motivated is the hard part. And motivation comes and goes. So when times aren't always going to be good, continuing to push through, knowing that it will eventually get better, will make it that much better when it is, you know, when it's time to be there. Yes. Yeah. That's, so that's awesome. I, I, that's I do the same thing. I read yeah. motivation and it's I'm like showering. That. Yeah, it's got to get done every day. <laughs> yeah. So I do that every single day in the morning, usually. And then I do yoga. So I know oh, you awesome. mentioned yoga, but I, awesome. I started doing it two years ago because I was a gymnast before. Mm -hmm. And when I stopped doing gymnastics, I didn't stretch as much and I wanted to kind of challenge myself with other aspects of fitness instead of just the traditional bodybuilding. So I went and I was actually pretty frustrated because I had lost so much of the flexibility I had and my balance was a little off. So I made a commitment to continue doing that. But another reason I did it was because I am very much uh, a yes girl and I have to learn how to say no sometimes yeah. and I can get overwhelmed because I have all these ideas and I want to do this and this and this and yeah. and it allows me to kind of step back and just focus on nothing for an hour aside from what I'm doing in that room and I've continued doing it at least twice a week uh, even if I'm gone I'll find a yoga shelter or a yoga studio somewhere nearby and I, I, it helps me out a lot to help relieve stress and um, keep my body healthy and reduce risk of injury, too. That's so cool. I yoga that. is great. And I'm sure our, our viewers are super interested in learning more about yoga. We had that on last week. And then here's another yeah. awesome inspiration talking about yoga again. So It's just so amazing. I just love it so much, this kind of a... Um, uh, you know, activity and, and just to calm the mind. I need right. that. Definitely. Yeah. Some of our viewers wanted to know what brought you from the fitness stage to the figure stage. Well, for, uh, well, actually, when I started my career, I started in fitness back almost 10 years ago. And I did that because I was a gymnast before. That's so. I continued doing that, and at the time, you could cross over and do figure and fitness at the same show, which you're not allowed to do anymore, but I actually was more successful in the figure division because although I could do the routines and they were good enough for me to get professional status and qualify for the Olympia in fitness, I just couldn't keep up with the speed and the pace mm -hmm. of the other fitness pros, so I was placing, you know, when I won first uh, at my first pro show, it was in figure and not in fitness. So that kind of, in my mind, um, solidified that direction. And I actually had more confidence on the figure stage because I always did better in the physique round. So then when I won the Olympia the first time in figure, that was just, all right, <laughs> well, this is what it is. <laughs> But I get asked that question a lot. Are you ever going to come back to fitness? Uh, are you going to continue doing figure? And to answer that question, I, I really don't think about fitness too often anymore. I want to stay where I'm at as long as I can in figure. Yeah. Although, I, you know, I still mess around and do gymnastics sometimes because it's fun. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's great. 
I tried, yeah, I tried fig, uh, fitness, you know, I was going to see the coach and everything. And I was like, uh, this is oh, not it's... for me. I'm not, I can't get fast enough. I don't want to break my neck. So I applaud the girls that do it. Yeah, but, definitely. Yeah. yeah. But I love figure. I think you, you have an incredible body and um, insane so physique. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, good, good luck to you too. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for being on our show. We really, really appreciate it. We appreciate your time, and thank you. And we also made the pancakes protein from the, from the metrics. Love yeah. It. My children loved it. My three-year-old said, I done. I was like, oh, we're going to have this again. <laughs> Is there anything else that you want to let our viewers in on, anything new you're doing or any of your um, Facebook sites, anything like that? I, well, actually, um, I am in the process of redoing my entire website, so it should be up in the next month. It's still the same address. It's still NicoleWilkins.com, but it's going to be a brand new, everything revamped. It's very clean, so I'm really excited about that. And um, I just filmed two DVDs, so oh, the first one should be out uh, in the beginning of the year. It's focusing on legs and glutes, so oh. I'm going <laughs> to... Yeah, we're yeah. doing the series on that. Yeah. So it's um, it's all it's jam packed with how to structure our leg workout, um, different alternatives for you know leg training, uh, track workouts, plyometrics, my favorite glute exercises, cardio for your glutes. I mean, it's very jam packed. And the other one is figure and uh, it's posing and presentation for figure athletes. So I show how to do the posing rounds, the presentation rounds. You know, how to pick your suit, what's in my bag. Um, I actually took him to the Olympia, and he videoed me getting my makeup done and my hair done. And we interviewed Jan Tana to show how to use, how to put tan on. So it'll be for, you know, yeah. most figure athletes just because that's what I specialize in. But I think all divisions could benefit from it. Competitors in general. Uh, right. But I, I have... I have one DVD that I had done two years ago that's available right now. It's um, In Pursuit of a Dream, and that covers everything that was involved getting ready for the Olympia in 2010. So that's you know something that I do have right now if someone's interested. Okay, and that's awesome. at NicoleWilkins.com? Right. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Great. Well, thanks Thank again. You.